Hello and welcome to the Orange County Frost Talk Show. I'm Alex Berucci. We are here at uh, UCLA, the fourth uh, annual New Film Festival. The, there's going to be a lot of celebrities here. The jury was selected for this uh, particular festival and I'm going to ask Michelle to name the juries. Do you know uh, who, who the names are? Uh, there was Corey Feldman, he was in uh, Stand By Me and The Lost Boys. Uh, Francis uh, Fisher, who was in Titanic and um, House of Sand and Fog, and also Max Martini in Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. That was a wonderful movie, by the way. So we are waiting for all the celebrities to, uh, to arrive. You are watching Orange County Cross Talk Show. Could you give us a little brief about North Film Festival and what's the objective? Uh, the objective of Film Fest North Film Festival is to celebrate Iranian filmmakers from all over the world and create a platform for them so they can compete and really be showcased and receive a recognition from their uh, own peers, from their own community, being the Iranian community outside of Iran, because we don't really have a festival of this nature that allows a competitive environment that, uh, that, that presents awards and engages the non-Iranian artists, you know, we've seen so many actors and directors and filmmakers who are part of the uh, judging committee each year, all, you know, um, award-winning um, actors and actresses. So it's, it's, it's wonderful to see that we can mesh the two uh, communities and two backgrounds together to be able to have them here come under one roof and be um, put on the pedestal. What is your advice to the Iranian, young Iranian who wants to get involved with this festival? Uh, to all, to the North North Film Festival, to keep on making those films, short or long, feature or documentary, and uh, keep looking for the announcement every year, and go to northfilmfestival.com and submit your films. All right, thank, thank you, and nice meeting you. We are here with Sean Tu, who is uh, one of the Iranian-American talent who is in Hollywood also, he plays the different movies. Now tell us, before I ask you about your work, uh, what do you think about this uh, fourth annual film festival? Oh, it's fantastic. I think this is such an important step for the Iranian art and Iranian film to be represented because uh, every nation should really have their uh, say and uh, have their festival. And this is wonderful. What Siamak is doing is it's incredible. It's a lot of effort. And uh, I was the judge the first year, actually. And uh, I've been trying to support them uh, in every way I can. And I'm proud of it. And. Uh, I hope that this continues to become bigger and better every year, and uh, it's uh, it's a really a pleasure. Very well. Have you seen any of the movies so far? I uh, have seen a few of them. Uh, I saw actually Circumstance last night, uh, which was That's a good one. It's it's impressive. It's daring. It's uh, a lot of guts making that film. Uh, but I'm just just proud of Iranians getting out there and and making film. I think any anything any film is good as long as you continue uh, working your craft and uh, you know getting better and bigger. But Iranian films are generally one of the best films in the world. So, what do you feel about this festival? I think it's a it's a wonderful festival, and uh, I'm very impressed with the films we have here and the work we do as a, as a culture. And uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing us continue and and improve and see where we go. Very well. How did you find that movie so far? Uh, they're amazing. Every one of these movies are just absolutely amazing. Some of them are breathtaking, the amount of talent that these kids have. And, uh, you know, it was, all of it was very unexpected. I'm so pleased to see that uh, Iranian Americans are so successful in Hollywood. Thank and you. Kami is one of those Iranian Americans who are very successful in Hollywood. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. همجد که میبینین دوستان و هنرمند و طرفداران این فستیوال در رد کارپت هستن و ما همچنان این رو ادامه خواهیم داد که با ما باشین 
Orange. You are watching Orange County Cross Talk Show. الان خانم مری آپیک هستن که دارن مصاحبه میشن با تلویزیون اندیش. بینندگان عزیز اورنج کانتی کراس تاک شو در فست چهارمین فستیوال نور هستیم من اینجا خیلی خوشحالم که خانم مری آپیک یکی از بهترین هنرمندان ایرانی رو اینجا داریم خانم آپیک بفهمید که شما از این فیلمات کنوما رو دید من به خاطر مسئله ای که با پام داشتم متاسفانه نتونستم که شرکت بکنم در فیلم ها به خاطر اینکه پام شکست و دو ماه من گرفتار این مطلب هستم و اینجا من فقط به خاطر جایزه ای که به آقای باب یاری میدن هستم اینجا معمولا من شرکت میکنم فیلم من در این فستیوال بوده قبلا فیلم بنبست ولی امسال من متاسفه نتونستم همه فیلم ها رو ببینم فیلم سازی کار بسیار مشکلی است برای اینکه معمولا با یک بودجه بسیار سنگین همراه هست ولی اگر که شما واقعا قصه ای رو میخوایم بگین قصه ای که از قلبتون میاد و برای اولین بار دارین این کارو میکنین با تمام وسایل ساده ای که تو با ویدیو هم هست میتونین حرفتون رو و قصه رو درست بگین و اگر قصه تون قصه عمیقی باشه روی همه تاثیر میذاره بنابراین حتما باید پافشاری بکنم و کارشون رو انجام بدن درست مثل کاری که فرزند بابیاری کرده یا کارهایی که من در امریکا انجام دادم بنابراین این اگر که دوست دارید و عاشقانه فیلم سازی رو میخواهید که حرفه شما باشه حتما ادامه بدید و um, I love the film festival. Actually, I think this is a great opportunity for all the Iranian filmmakers just to show their work. Some of these films they uh, they never get a chance to be shown in Iran, and uh, having this festival and CMI putting this festival together as giving them an opportunity to bring their films and show it around, and I truly appreciate it. I, I I'm grateful for. I yeah, thank you. We are really all we need to support the Siamak and his festival, and I'm so happy to see a lots of people showing up today. So now we join. Tell me, tell me about your latest movie that you. I know you are in in Hollywood and you're working with a lots of American film companies. Please tell us what's the latest one. Um, right now I'm working on a, a TV show called Homeland, uh, which is for a Showtime Network. It premieres October 2nd, right after Dexter. And uh, I also wrapped a film called Power of Few, which they are editing it right now. And probably it's going to come out by the end of the year or beginning of next year. The film is with Christopher Walker and Christian Slater. I love the story. So let's see. By the see. way, I don't know if you have seen Esto, uh, The Stone of Soraya. Uh, Stoning of Soraya. Stoning of Soraya. You did an excellent job. He was, he was fantastic. Thank you so much. Hey, Alex, it's good to see you. Have you seen any of the movies? Uh, I've seen Lost Journey because I mean it. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I think it's a beautiful thing. Um, I admire Siamak's efforts and I think it's a good thing for, for the whole community, and I'm happy people are supporting it. A lot of great movies. I know, I I, I know about them. I just have to uh, save some time to see them. Andy, what's your message to the young Iranian filmmakers who are going to make the movies? Make more movies. Make more movies. You heard from Andy. I I agree. I think it's great. The more, the merrier, and and we're we're supporting all the young filmmakers all the time. Welcome again and nice to see you again. Thank you, Alex. من جان تبریک میگم به چهارمین فستیوال نور رو و واقعا به جمعیت خیلی زیادی اومدن میخواستم یه توضیح خیلی مختصری بدی راجع به فعالیتایی که در این برنامه داشتید چشم چهارمین جشنواره فستیوال نور همین امسال که در جیمز بجسیت در یو سی ال برگزار میشه مجموعه 25 تا فیلم های انتخاب شده از داورانمون هست و خیلی خوشحالم که تونستیم برنامه رو بعد از اینکه یه سال آف بودیم تونستیم دوباره برگزار بکنیم و واقعا با کمک زیادی از کامیونیتی اون بوده مخصوصا 670 ای ام کی ار این که اسپانسر اصلیمون بودن What is your advice to the young Iranian filmmaker who wants to participate in your festival 
Uh, my advice to the young Iranians is to uh, get your parents' support, do whatever you feel it's right to your heart, and uh, go after it. That's it. All right. Okay, merci. merci. I see some of the films that we shown here and yesterday and on Friday that these young filmmakers are looking at the art of filmmaking in such a different way that I'm not even used to and a lot of people are not used to. So I want to thank you guys for making such a big impact in the film festival and making sure that people that are coming here are experiencing something different. So all of you guys deserve a big round of applause again. And I want to thank all of our presenters. All of them have really, over the past 45 days, helped with promotion of the film festival. So everyone that's coming up here, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And thank you guys, the people that bought tickets and supported this film festival and made tonight happen. Thank you. What do you think about today's Iranian cinema? I've seen several films. I know there are a lot of terrific filmmakers that are coming out of Iran. That's actually great to know. And I was at the uh, Abu Dhabi festival, where it was actually a circle of film, they called it. I was on some panels and met several Iranian filmmakers who had come over. And, you know, one day I hope to make a film with one of the Iranian directors that are coming up in the industry. Where do we get our table different? Storytelling at its uh, most basic level is a, a means of conveying ideas from one person to another. They can educate, resonate with the masses, and transcend differences. Or they can simply entertain us. Regardless of the type of impact a story has on, the, on an audience, it is where the magic of filmmaking all begins. Uh, so that being said, uh, the nominees for Best Story and Idea are Diplomacy, Circumstance and uh, letters to the president. And the winner is diplomacy. Yeah. Wow. I do really, really want to thank uh, the North Film Festival and the whole community. You know, I sort of dared to make a film that was about a community that's not my own and had these terrific, fantastic actors to bring it to life. And this is really for them. I mean, yeah, it's an idea, but it would still just be an idea if it hadn't been for them. So, thank you all. Everybody comes up here with a pretty girl, and I have to come up here with Abby Poor <laughs> Hey, how are you? I love you. This is a true this story. It, it. I used to look like him. <laughs> so, we are very happy to be here with you. We're very happy you're here. Um, we're very happy. I don't know why we're so happy, but I'm sure we're happy. <laughs> and which award are we giving right now? Uh, it's the... The audience's least favorite movie. No, most favorite movie. Thanks. Um, it's gonna go to. It's not good. I have to say. Circumcise? What? Circumstance. but it's very special to win an audience award with uh, the community that the film is about. Uh, we started the world premiere of the film at Sundance and we won the audience award there and we've picked up a couple along the way but this one is, is really meaningful to us. Um, 
And more than anything, because you know we premiered the film at Sundance, and it's a, it was a dream come true for an independent filmmaker. We had all these American companies not only wanting to buy the film, but then bidding against each other. Um, because I think that they saw something in the film that they felt American audiences could understand. And to feel that both Iranians and Americans can come to this film and have an emotional connection to me is really important as a writer and as a director. So I hope you'll support the film and prove to these um, companies that Iranian stories can reach a big audience within our communities and outside, because we released on August 26th in LA and New York. responsibility of all people involved in film is to to be true to the art to the art form I think what it is you're telling a story and trying to engage an audience and when you're good at that I mean film is a very powerful medium and when you accomplish what it can do when you do your job well it has a massive influence on people and therefore on society what's your advice to the younger generation trying to choose a career path Actually, I think it's different for behind the camera and in front of the camera. But, you know, people who want to be directors, writers, producers, I always tell them, whatever you can do, get on a set, get involved in the process. If you have the passion, it shows. It shows in your work ethic, it shows in your enthusiasm, and you will start moving up. And it's almost organic how it happens. The key, and, and actually the toughest part, is to make that first step. Get involved in production, whether on an active set or a production company. That's always my advice. For actors and actresses, I've always said that it's probably one of the toughest roads, mostly because so much of it is out of your hands. Most of the time, it doesn't matter how talented you are. You can be the most talented actor in the world, and if you don't look the part, you're not gonna get it. So it's fraught with disappointment, and it's a difficult road. I don't have any good advice, I just tend to tell them, be prepared. You have to take a long view of it. It's not something that you jump in and you have instant success. <laughs> 